Disturbing discovery in Sarpy County. Animals beaten, possibly killed, all at the hands of their owner. An Omaha man is accused of some serious crimes involving cruelty to animals. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig has the night off. The details we uncovered in court documents are gruesome. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski is live in the news center with that information. Jake. Jen, the man is formally charged in the Sarpy County Jail this morning. He allegedly seriously injured multiple dogs and may have killed one. A domestic assault report leads Sarpy County deputies to investigate 43-year-old Jeremy Franks. Today, he's formally charged with five counts of felony animal cruelty. Franks allegedly abused his own dogs at his home off 156 in Harrison. I can't really discuss the type of injuries. I, I think I can fairly tell you that there are three different animals um, in issue here that uh, give rise to the five charges. The crimes allegedly happened between February 2014 and this July. Court documents reveal that Franks may have bitten one of his dogs in the nose, ear, and neck because he was mad at his girlfriend. The sheriff's office said the dogs were found without water. One had BB pellets in its skin, and another had old fractures to its ribs and leg. Papers also say Franks may have tied one of his dogs to a tree with a chain so tight that it couldn't swallow and cause the dog's eyes to bulge out before it died a short time later. I think it's always a serious charge anytime you have um, an animal or you know, a child that's been injured. I think that's always a serious charge. The suspect got out of jail today. We tried to speak with a person at Franks' home this afternoon. Are you Mr. Franks? No way. Are you Mr. Franks or is he home? No way. Can we speak to you about the allegations of animal torture? Franks posted $1,000 to get out of jail today or 10% of his $10,000 bond. He's also charged with three misdemeanors stemming from the domestic assault incident. If convicted on the animal cruelty charges, he faces 0 to 14 years in prison. His defense attorney wouldn't comment today. Reporting live in the news center, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.